Hey guys, February 13th of Reading Through Your Bible Chronologically in One Year. We read Exodus 37 through 39, 31, where we saw the building of the tabernacle and the creation of the priestly garments. Now we have read some about this before. So today I wanna give us a little bit of encouragement from 1 Corinthians 6, 19. In that verse, our bodies are called the temple of God. Now the tabernacle will eventually go away because the more permanent temple of God will be built in Jerusalem. Beautiful temple. Solomon builds it, the first one. And it is beautiful and it is for the purpose of holding the presence of God so people can go there and worship. And so we are now called the temple of God because we ourselves hold the presence of God in the form of the Holy Spirit. And so the, uh, the tabernacle was a precursor to the temple. And the temple was a precursor to us being the temple of God, the holder of the Holy Spirit, the Christ carriers to this world. So if you are feeling today like you are insignificant or you don't matter, that is just straight up a lie. It just is not true. You couldn't be more significant. You were created just as the tabernacle and the temple were created on purpose, with a purpose. There was a very specific plan for the creation of this per uh, the, for the creation of this tabernacle and temple. It's the same with us. God knit us together in our mother's wombs. Remember, knitting takes time. It takes a plan. It takes intention. And that's exactly what God did with you in your mother's womb and with me is that he thought about it. He made a plan and then he executed it and created you just the way you are for a purpose. And just like the purpose of the tabernacle and the temple was to house the, the presence of God, it was so that God could live in the midst of his people. And that is what we are. Like I said, we are Christ carriers to the world around us. So we carry Christ into the, the environments that we live in and so that Christ can be in the midst of of his people, in the midst of his people, in our hearts, and in the midst of the people of this world. And just like the temple and the tabernacle pointed to the glory of God, so do we. That is our job, no matter what our, our daily job is, whether we are teachers or accountants or administrators or whatever we do, if we're an attorney and a doctor, or if you're full, in full-time ministry, <clears throat> our jobs are always the same. It's to glorify Christ to the people around us, to carry Christ into those places. So don't feel like you are insignificant. Think about the utensils that were used inside of the tabernacle, how they were built with precious metal, with gold. You are precious in God's sight. He loves you ferociously. He knows you fully, and he loves you ferociously. So don't believe anything other than that. You are significant, you matter, and you have purpose, and you are fully known and fully loved. And so I hope that's an encouragement to you today. Tomorrow, February 14th, <clears throat> we are reading Exodus 39, 32 till the end, which is Exodus 40. We are finishing, we are finishing Exodus on Valentine's Day. Okay, so I will talk to you then. Okay, bye-bye.